Georgia. Well, what to say about Georgia? Well, that chick who was singing was really tiny, and um, it wasn't really a good idea that she was wearing glasses inside. She was like, oh god, what the hell am I doing here? Please hurry up and finish this song. Get me off this bloody stage. Yeah, well, that's my interpretation. Um, Magic Trick was a nice gimmick. Kind of really shocked me, but um, you know, just wasn't really into it. Eh. Oh, better luck next time. Next! Okay, first of all, new background here. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll get into that. Uh, Ukraine was just up. Uh, what do I think of the Ukraine? Um, well, that chick was... Hot, 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 hot. And, um... Well, that's about it, really. Really, that was really all the good thing about it. Um, really deep beat bassing sounds, but um, nothing really new, interesting, nothing really worthwhile. Yeah. Next. Okay, next up was France, and all I can say about them was, um, well, nothing really. Nothing good, nothing bad. Well, maybe something bad. Who the hell was the costume designer for those backup singers? <sighs> those singers. Those people are gonna give me nightmares. <sighs> beards. Chicky chicks with beards. I wouldn't I didn't know if those backup backup singers were chicks or guys. They're probably both, but I couldn't tell who was who or what was what. <sighs> I swear, there's a conspiracy behind it and I'm gonna find it. But next! Next was Azerbaijanian, or however the hell you pronounce it. Um I don't care what anyone says about that, um, no one has a voice that unnatural. That guy with the wings and all that, that just wasn't natural. Was one of his parents a parrot? <laughs> uh, yes. As you can see, Eurovision, a lot of weirdos, a lot of great stuff, a lot of flops, and a lot of people that are just tryhards. And that was one of the ones that um, is just too unnatural to bear. Reese was up next, and oh crap, we had a Barbie doll in this in this competition. Ah, oh, great. If there's one thing I don't like in song competitions is chicks that act like Barbie dolls, like, oh, I'm so innocent, I'm so young, I want some love. Use your imagination. Use your imagination. It was all, it was all, yeah, yeah. The only thing that I liked about it was when they went like this. Wait, 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 wait. It's like, oh yeah, check me out. What, what? Probably make a dance out of that. Quack, quack, quack! Which one would involve quacking? I don't know where I'm going with this one. Next! Well, what can I say about Spain, but holy crap, were they trying to be terrible deliberately? Oh my god. Terrible song, terrible lyrics. The dance moves seemed like they were, I don't know, some of some kid show or something. Hey, chicka chicka, hey, chicka chicka. And the bass um, instrument was like a little kitty's guitar. And to add further insult to injury, one of the chicks fell over. <laughs> one of the dancers fell over midway during this song, and uh, that really showed you how crap the song was. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if they got zero points. Next, Serbia. Well, what can I say? Very nice ballad, nicely done. It was a home crowd, so there's a lot of um, audience cheering going on there. It was a really nice song, really great ballad. Kind of reminded me of Lord of the Rings in some reason or another. And not the whole battle things, like the whole peaceful afterthoughts of the whole, oh yay, finally it is over, we can all rest. And uh, oh, holy crap, I didn't almost do it again. I might need to put this on my nose to keep myself awake. That's probably not a good idea. Next. Well, next was Russia, and what can I say about that one, but um, it was a pretty good song, um, though it wasn't really my cup of tea. I could see how that could get a lot of votes. It could do pretty well. It has a chance of... Uh, I didn't like it personally, but that's just my opinion. So, don't say, oh my god, how could you hate Russia? Uh, it's like, it, hey dude, it's my opinion. I have my right to my own opinion. That's why I'm doing this. Okay, moving on now. Finally was Norway, and um, well, what can I say about that was, um, yeah, it was pretty mediocre. Um, I just could not get into that, and uh, it was kind of, I don't know, just couldn't feel it. There was just nothing there. It was just kind of bland, flat, and uh, the chick couldn't really good, get um, good notes. Just didn't feel like it was, I don't know what to say, but 
All right, I'll just say it. It sucked. And finally, here's the winner of the Eurovision. The winner of the Eurovision was. Da -da 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 oh, you probably already know. It was Russia. Yeah, Russia won. Well, what do I think of Russia winning? Well, I think. Um, yeah. Well, they wanted it. They got it. The, the point system was really messed up. And I noticed uh, everyone's been talking about, oh no, it's well, they're all political votes now. It's not a song contest anymore. Uh, there's no politic. It's just political votes, political votes, political votes. I mean, because I live in Australia, I don't know much about the whole living next to each other in Europe, and um, I don't know much about the whole that stuff over there. So, um. I was actually surprised about Spain though, they got 45 points despite how crap their song was. And I think they knew that their song was crap. Hell, when the dancers fell over on the stage, that that just shows you how crap it was. Everyone's talking about how it's all political votes, political votes, political votes. So here's my proposal for Eurovision 2009. And if you're watching in Moscow and you're part of Eurovision, keep this in mind. Take it up to the head office, because listen carefully to what I'm about to propose. Don't show who the performers are representing. Don't show them what countries they're representing. Instead, just show the performers' names themselves, and don't reveal that who they're representing until all the voting lines have closed on the finals. That way, political votes will be hard to decide. They'll all be more focused on how great and awesome the songs were. Keep that in mind. Tell me what you guys think about that. Anyways, that's all for me. This has been an Aussie's Viewpoint on Eurovision 2008, and hopefully I'll see you again next year in 2009.